Hello, this is Eric Larson with the Assistive Technology Department. In this tutorial video, we're going to be talking about using the settings within the CoWriter extension on Chromebook. So CoWriter is a great resource for writing support for students with disabilities, with features such as word prediction and text-to-speech. If you're not familiar with the basics of this program, check out one of our other videos where we're, we go more in-depth with that. For the purposes of this video, we'll simply be talking about how to find the settings through the CoWriter extension on a Chromebook and the main options that you want to focus on while in there. Uh, having the option to change various things such as the size of the predicted words, the color of the prediction box, etc., can provide increased accessibility for our students. So here we go. We have a blank Google Doc page and I've activated the CoWriter program by clicking on the purple cloud icon up in our toolbar here. So we have CoWriter up and going on a blank Google Doc. To find the settings, you're going to want to go up to that purple cloud and you're going to want to right click. You can do this in a couple ways on a Chromebook. I like to do a two finger tap on the mouse trackpad. From the drop down menu, you're going to go to options. This will open a new window with all of our various settings. As I'm giving examples and changing things, I'm just going to be toggling back and forth through these two windows. So we'll start on the right side at the top where we have, we can change the features for our word prediction. We can change the number of guesses. So I can increase that from two to four. Going back and you'll see that now as we start to type words, we will have four choices here. And you can go all the way up to nine. You can change the font of the letters of the words that are predicted. You can change it to Arial. You can change the color of the letters and of the words. You can also change the background color. In addition, in this box, you can change the size of the word prediction box. Beneath that, we have features where we can change things for the text-to-speech feature. You have various voices here. Uh, in various languages. So if you'd like to, you can go to Chrome OS for Espanol. Hey. And various other languages. We're going to keep it on female English. Welcome to the co-writer extension. You can change the pitch rate and volume of speech using the sliders below. And that's her. So with text-to-speech, you have options where you can have each letter spoken. So if I turn that on and I go here, D. it will speak out each letter. For some students, that's very, very beneficial. I can just have words on or just have entire sentences and the text to speech will adjust for that. You can adjust the volume of the text to speech in addition to the rate. Welcome to the co-writer extension. You can change the pitch rate and volume and welcome to the co-writer extension you can change the pitch rate and volume okay. of speech using the sliders below so over here top left is where we have our topic dictionaries i already have variety a uh, variety of topics here what you can do if your student's working on a particular topic you can search for that so we can search for the beach and it will create a topic dictionary which when you have it selected on when the student is typing, the words that are predicted will correspond Time. to that topic. Okay. Beneath that, you have your main dictionary where you can uh, pull from words at various levels, which will be your default dictionary. Okay. That is it. Thank you so much for checking out this tutorial. And remember, you have the power.